None of this is real. When you look down on Pal World's surface, it's impossible not to be impressed by the sheer grandeur, splendor, and power of the digital world. Vast open plains, immense spaces, but any feeling of emptiness is an illusion. Pal World supports the greatest gathering of wildlife in the cosmos. Their exquisite beauty, matched only by the intensity of their epilepsy. Could this be the subtle whispers of a deeper mystery hidden beneath the surface? At the heart of all the magic and majesty is a single unifying element, economics and Pokemon-assisted labor. One creature on this planet has gone further than any other in its quest to extract value from the closed system, and it has slowly come to dominate all other life on the planet. The Corporation. On Pal World, a peculiar dance unfolds between corporations and the many Pokémon. Once symbols of friendship, these creatures now toil in service, refining resources for their human counterparts. As easy as pressing F or square for some, not so easy for others. Driven by a relentless pursuit of prosperity, they enlist Pokémon, not as companions, but as incessant laborers. These once vibrant creatures, renowned for their unique abilities, now toil to refine their overlord's resources, for the right merely to survive. As budding corporations navigate this intricate ecosystem, they confront a reflection of the enduring human tendency to exploit the abilities of others for personal gain even in the most idyllic realms. The ethical query looms. Should the pursuit of wealth come at the cost of exploiting the very creatures that bring enchantment to this captivating world? Well, yes, because they aren't real. Even if they were, the choice for these beasts is simple. Avoid contact with the corporations at all costs or endure exhausting employment and endless carnage only punctuated by the infinite nothingness of the Pokeball. In the end, no matter their form, each of these pals chooses a shadow life of drudgery rather than face the abyss. Knowing all the while, that the resources they liberate through their backbreaking labor accumulate to an overclass they can't even aspire to become. This, at least, we can understand. We find ourselves at a crossroads. Pal World, with all its charm, beckons us to ponder the synthesis of gaming and morality. Is it worth the $30 price tag, considering that everything you see and hear is borrowed from somewhere else, maybe not. But you should totally pick it up on sale. My time as a Navi allowed me to indulge in my darkest economic desires without the hassle of building my own sweatshop. And because of this, I've decided to award the game two bananas and a coconut. Till next time, David out.
Anywho, if you want to watch another video, click here. If you want to support us on Patreon, if you want to support us on Patreon, click here. And if you want to like and subscribe, click here.